Hey guys, welcome to Create Effects. I'd like to show you a simple technique today for clean plating where we're going to use a portion of the video and loop it to create the clean plate. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just jump into Nuke and I'm just going to show you what we will be creating today. So if I just full screen this. And essentially what we're going to be doing is just taking the footage finding a portion like this, so if I basically take this, as you can see here, the area that we need for the clean plate is just in this region here. So basically I'm just looking for just an area that is clear, so just there. So in this region here, as we can see, there's no one there, so we can use that as the clean plate. Basically the way we're going to do that is just loop this area and that will act as our clean plate and then we shall reveal that with just some roto so just where we want to show the clean plate we're going to reveal that and anything that goes over our clean plate like one of the characters at the end here will walk in front of the clean plate with his leg just a little bit now we'll just basically do some roto on his leg and subtract that from our clean plate so, if I just copy the footage here, and we'll just start again on the side, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so if I just push one on the footage, just to load that into the buffer, and if we just play through the beginning here, probably from about frames 1038 to, let's say, 1056 or 1057 just to be safe we're going to just loop that part so the way we're going to do that is if we just push tab and just type in retime and just push enter and we're just going to connect just connect it here to the footage and if we just to put on both of the input and output and just set those frame or that frame range which was 1038 to 1057 okay and another thing to do is just to put that on to loop just so it loops that footage once it's finished with that frame range so now if I play that as you can see it's looping that area and now another thing to note as well is if we zoom in and we just push B just to show the blue channel which normally has most of the noise or grain in it you can see that it's looping that noise and grain as well which is obviously what we want because a lot of times people will take a still frame for their clean plate and they won't take into account this moving noise so when they finish with their shot it just won't look right what I'm going to do is if I hold control or command on a Mac it brings up these little dots and if you click on that it's just a way to sort of help you keep your script a bit neater and what I'll do is I'll just branch this off to the side the clean plate Basically what you want to do is you always want to work neat because what happens is your script will start to get fairly large and then you'll just kind of lose yourself in it when you come back and that's not what you want really. You always want to keep it organized. So I've got now my clean plate to the side here and what you want to do now is push tab and just type in key mix, push enter and what we're going to do is connect the A side of the pipe to the retime and the B side to the original footage which is running down the stream here. Once again I'm just going to keep this neat. And what this key mix node does is it says put A, so if coming from this pipe put the A over B, so put the clean plate over the original via the mask here, so whatever you tell it to or whatever the selection will be. So in this case I'm going to put, if I push O over here it will create a rotor node. Now you can use pretty much anything here that will select an area. So you can use a key, you can use paint, you can use roto, whatever you want. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use this roto. And once again, just keep it all quite tidy. And if I push one just to look at the key mix node, there won't be any difference here at the moment. But if we get to the position where we think the actor is going to fire the gun, let's say around here. 
We then go in and we're going to draw. Just go in here. Just draw where you think the bullet might be. Let's just do this very roughly for demonstration purposes. And as you can see, it's revealing the clean plate over here via this rotor. So if we go back one frame, go to the rotor here, the Bezier node, and just click on the opacity just to create a keyframe. We'll drag that to zero, just so it's not on. And for the next frame, we'll put that on to one. And then this is basically how you want to do it. Now you can go through, let's just say, okay, so that's off, that's on. Next frame, you can make it a bit bigger. If you hold down command and out, I believe on a Mac or control and out, you can create points between these points. And you can now animate this. So if you go through a couple of frames forward, make it bigger, Let's just full screen that. For a few more points, just keep going forward as you think it should be, or as you want it to be for your effect. Just come through and just animate that. Put some more points in if you need to. And basically you just keep going. I'll just brighten this up a bit. Just, for, just on the viewer, just so you can see. And you basically just keep going through until you've got the clean plate fully shown. Now you can go over his foot here just to reveal the clean plate behind. And what you will need to do, like I said at the beginning, is just do some rotor for his leg just to bring that back on top. Because if I look at the, I push one to look at the original and two to look at the stream down here, you can see how the leg needs to be replaced. So all we'll do with that, and before we do that, you can put push B to put a blur node. Just wait for that. We'll pop that in here. And I'm just gonna affect the alpha only. Just keeps the script running a bit faster. If I push O in the viewer, just to remove the overlay, you can start putting some blur on it just to blur the effect. But that's completely up to you what you wanna do with that. Now to do the roto, what we're going to do is just go up the stream, view the original, which is just up here. I'm going to push O down here just to give us another roto node. I'm just going to put the overlay back on and basically what you want to do is just do some roto. I'm just doing some really rough quick roto here. For your shot, you'll need to just make sure you do this right. Obviously, the more accurate you do it, the better it's going to look. And you can just do some rough rotor here. Obviously, you don't have to worry too much on the left-hand side here. Let's just say that that is perfect rotor right there. Push M to bring up a merge node, and we're going to change the operation over here from over to stencil. And connect the A to the rotor and B to the other rotor. And what that's going to do is it's basically saying take this rotor here, which is the leg rotor, and remove it or stencil or minus it from this rotor. If you push A to see the alpha channel, just so it says A there. And if you go further down to here, you can see how it removes the leg from here. So if I push B for the blur, and I just once again put that to alpha, you can just Put a little bit of a blur on there. And if you look at it down here, now you can see how it's brought that leg back. Obviously, you can now refine this rotor just to make it a bit more accurate. And that's basically how you do it. And you'll have to obviously go through and do the rotor for the whole shot, as I've done on this side. So if I look at this one here and look at my foot rotor, you can see I've just done some roto for the shot, sort of right throughout. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave your comments below. See you next time.